Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Effective. In this session we will be explaining to you how you can connect an Excel file as a database using Automation Anywhere, A2019. We will explain to you the different benefits of connecting Excel file as a database, and we will teach you how to do that. I would appreciate it if you can smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. Alright, so let us start the session. If you want to retrieve the data from specific rows and columns, from a large Excel file, if you use the basic or advanced Excel command which is available in A2019, then you need to loop through all the rows and columns and use multiple if conditions to get the data which matches your requirements. This approach will reduce the speed of bot execution and take a lot of time and effort during development. So, by connecting the Excel file as a database, you can improve the performance, you will be able to perform multiple operations like select, insert, update, and delete using different query languages. To connect an Excel file as a database in Automation Anywhere 8 2019, you need to have a Microsoft Excel JDBC driver installed in your machine. So, let us tell you how you can download and install this driver. To download, visit this website, we have already posted the URL of this website in the description below. Click on the download trial button, next you will be redirected to a page where you need to provide few details, now click on the download button. For the video purpose, we have already downloaded the Microsoft Excel JDBC driver to our computer. Once the zip file gets downloaded, extract it. After the file gets extracted, you can find two files. One is the readme file and the other one is the jar file, which is a Java application. To install this jar file, you need to have a Java 6 or above version pre-installed on your computer. If you do not have Java installed in your machine, then download and install it from here. We have already posted the URL of this website in the description box. Once Java is installed on your computer, simply double click on this setup.jor file. Now the installation gets started. In the installation window, click on the next button to continue. Read the terms and conditions, and once done, click on this radio button and click the next button. Now you will be asked to select the installation path. We will keep the default one and click on next. On the next screen you need to provide mandatory details for the product registration and then click on next. Click on the next button to activate the trial license automatically. On the next screen you will be asked to select the features which you would like to install. We will keep the default one and click on next. Click on the next button to continue. Click on the next button. Alright, now the installation is complete, click on the quit button and close the installation window. Once the installation gets completed, you can find cdata.jdbc.excel.jar file in this location. If you had changed the installation path, during the installation, then the location might change. This jar file path you will be using in the Automation Anywhere 8 2019. While establishing the connection between Excel file and the data. Alright, now let us go to Automation Anywhere 8 2019 control room. We need to drag all the actions within this start and end block dot to have the Excel file path. We need to have a user defined string variable. For this, we will be using the assign action from the string package. Drag the assign action from the actions tab and drop it over here. Enter the Excel file path in the source string variable field. Now we need to create a variable called VXL file path to hold the Excel file path value and click on select. Click on the apply to save the actions. Similarly, to assign the driver file path value to a user defined variable we will be using the assign action from the file package. Here we have three options such as select driver file from the control room. Select driver file from the desktop file, or assign the driver file path to a variable. Here the file is on my computer we will select the desktop file, click on the browse button to select the file. Now you need to create a variable to hold the source string value. 
We will give a variable name as vDriver file path and click on create and select button. Click on apply to save the action. Next, we will be using the connect command to establish a connection with the database server. Drag and drop this command, and you need to enter the session name. But as of now, we will keep it as default. In the connection mode, we will select the default option, so that we can directly enter the connection string for any of the supported database types. To connect to an Excel file, you need to have the Excel connection string. For your reference, we have posted the connection string in the description box below. In this connection string in the data source you should specify the Excel file path. Hence, we will insert the vXL file path variable, which we had already created in the previous steps. You can also directly specify the file path here instead of the variable. Alright, now select the use specific database option and insert the vDriver file path variable here. Once you have selected the variable, Click on Apply to save the action. To retrieve data from the Excel file, we will use the read command in the database package. Here we need to maintain the same session name throughout. Here is where you can write different SQL select statements. To retrieve all the data from the Excel file, we need to write a SQL query, select star from sheet 1. In this query, sheet 1 will be the Excel sheet name. In this field, you can specify how many numbers of records that you would like to fetch from the Excel file. We will leave this as blank since we would like to get all the rows in the Excel file. Using this option, you can export the query results into a CSV file. For now, we will skip this and save the action and click apply. Now to get the results that have been returned by the query, we need to use the loop command. Here we have different options for the iterator. In our case, we will be using each row in a SQL query dataset. Provide the session name that you have used to establish a connection with the database. To assign the values of the current row, we need to assign the value to a variable of type record. Let us name the variable as vRow and click on the create button and then select. Click on apply to save the action. To display the values returned by the query, we will use a message box. Drag and drop the message box command and then insert the vRow variable, which will be having the value of one entire row, which has been returned by the query. Now, to display values of any of the columns, use the option select by name and then enter the required column name. We will specify the first name as the column header. Click apply and save the action. Don't forget to close the database connection, which you have established initially. Use the disconnect commands to close the connection, maintain the same session name throughout. Alright, let us save the task and run the bot and see how it works. Click on the run button to see the bot in action. As you can see, different values from the Excel file are getting displayed in the message box one after another. Perfect, so now you saw how the bot successfully extracted the data from the Excel file by connecting to it as a database. You can perform multiple operations like insert, update, delete, etc. on your Excel files. Alright, that was the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you have learned something new in this session, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel iFective.